I've been fascinated by Springtail since I first saw one almost exactly five years ago when this video is coming out, and they're still some of my favorite animals to find and photograph in winter, and I'm still constantly learning new things about them that I never knew before. But I guess a good place to start with is what Springtails even are. Springtails are an order of arthropods, which are very closely related to insects, but actually not insects themselves. They are, however, still hexapods, meaning that, like insects, they have six legs. Springtails can be found on every continent, including Antarctica, and can adapt to all kinds of different, very extreme habitats. The oldest known springtail is a fossil from the early Devonian period, around 380 million years ago, and that makes it one of the first known fossils of land-dwelling animals. Now in many parts of the world, springtails are among the most abundant animal groups, and they play a vital role in soil ecology by eating dead organic matter and helping with decomposition. There are currently almost 10,000 described springtail species across four main groups. The Entomobriomorpha tend to have a long, slender body and are incredibly varied. Some, like this Tomoceros vulgaris, are covered in tiny iridescent scales, while others have long setae or hairs and can look like some kind of crazy hairdo like this Orcasella. The next group are the Symphipleana, or globular springtails, and I mean, it's pretty obvious where they get their name from. They have this large, round abdomen, which makes them pretty much look like a small sphere with legs and a head. And I see globular springtails more often than any other springtails, and they're just always so much fun to photograph and film. I mean, look at that face, they're so cute. Next up are the Paduromorpha, which are more slender than globular springtails, but still often kind of oval in shape. And they tend to be less covered in scales or hairs than Entomobria morpha, with more of a smooth, lumpy surface. And finally, there's the Neely Pleiana, which I've never actually seen myself, but I would really like to. And these were formerly considered a family within globular springtails, but recently were split off into their own order. Neely Pleiana are extremely small, usually around half a millimeter or even a lot smaller than that. And they don't have any eyes and are often almost completely lacking any pigment whatsoever. So one really cool thing I've been seeing more and more often recently are springtails infected with various different kinds of parasitic fungus. And these fungi infect the springtail and cause the abdomen to expand and the spores develop to be released to be able to infect more springtails. 
And this individual in this photo was really exciting for me to find because it was at an angle where the head was actually still visible, which means that I could get a portrait image. And this photo is also my biggest focus stack ever with, I think, 183 individual frames, which took a really long time to process, but I'm super happy with the result. And just being able to get this angle already makes it much more interesting than some of my other pictures I've gotten of parasitized springtails before. On another parasitized springtail that I found under the exact same log, the infection seems to have developed a lot further, so that the abdomen has become completely transparent, and all of what I think are the spores of the fungus are magnified by this liquid. And although it isn't the most detailed image, I'm still super happy with how this one turned out. Another parasitized springtail that I found a little while before, uh, this is a different species, I believe it's called Conidiobulus coronatus. This one develops in a very different way, so you don't have the spores out on stalks like with the other species but instead the abdomen just expands out in this kind of interesting way and when you look closely at the texture of this white mottled bit there's some really really interesting textures in there so thank you very much for watching this quite different video from my last two i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you have any feedback and which of the many pictures that i showed in this video was your favorite and yeah, see you in the next video.